And I'm back to finish off 60-ish second September. So a little while ago I made a vlog about what people think about me and whether or not they suspect I have autism. And in the vlog I don't think I talked about why I don't tell other people I have autism, except for my, my family. I have told relatives of mine I, I have autism. Co-workers, I, I don't tell them. So, and it, it's not like I'm hiding my autism, but at the same time, I'm not like showing it off. So, and I think the reason why I don't tell people is because I don't know how they will treat me after learning uh, of my autism. Like I don't think I'll get any really bad reactions to it but at the same time there might be some people who treat me differently uh, after they find out. And different can be good, maybe they treat me in a, a way that helps me, like they make it so I, I can understand them better. Different could also mean like they pity me, like they go out of their way to try and help me when I might not need help. or they treat me like like I'm like like I, I want to say stupid but treat me like they think I don't know stuff when I really do know stuff and might even know it better than they do or treat me in a way that I'm uncomfortable with yeah but let's go with that treat me in a way that makes me feel uncomfortable yeah that, that's probably what I'm afraid of. I might be uncomfortable with them before I tell them, but afterwards it just gets worse. So it would have been better if I had not told them and I I can't undo that. So, so yeah, I guess that's what I'm afraid of, but maybe I'm afraid for no reason. And I haven't noticed a change in how my relatives treat me, but I don't see them enough to uh, know if they are treating me differently. Yeah, but that's going to be it for this vlog. Until next video, goodbye. And I'm back to finish off 60-ish. 2nd November. November? What?